Hello my dear friends, welcome to my new video in this today's video I present for your master teacher. Hope you will dear sir channel is here with you very new and interesting topic uh, that is decimals. It is not a topic of any class but it is a topic of a student which can be learned from standard 4 to any standard that is decimals. So in this today's video we are going to learn about the decimals. So before the starting like share and subscribe our channel little dear sir and tell in the comment box do you like this video we are welcoming our channel little dear sir so first of all let's get started with this today's video today we are going to learn about the decimal first of all what is a decimal what is a decimal a decimal number contains a decimal point so now i will tell you what is the decimal point in the next slide? We use decimals to write fractions as a single number. So we use a decimal point to uh, we use decimals to write a fraction as a single number. So what is a fraction? To learn what is a fraction and the types of fraction, you can go to the Little Years channel <coughs> and watch our video of fractions. Okay. The decimal point shows where the fractional part of a number begins. So, what is this fractional part? What is this whole number? We will learn in the next slide. Okay. Now, I hope you understood what is a decimal. So, now we will learn what is the decimal point and what is the whole part and what is the fractional part. Okay. First of all, here is example 24.36. So, this part is called as the whole number. It is called as the whole number. Next, the inside this dot is called as the decimal point. So, we say it as while reading, we say it point. Okay. And remaining this 36 is called as the fractional part. So, if you are wondering why I am saying it 36, not 36, because when we read the fractional part, we should only read in means read it single, not 36, 42, no, 36, 42, like this, okay? So, 24.36, so we should read like this. So, the before the decimal point, there is the whole number and after the decimal point, there is the fractional part. So, uh, as we seen in the last slide, that the decimal point shows where the fractional part start. Yes, the decimal point shows where the fractional part starts. Okay. Next, we have one more example which shows the place value of the decimals. 34.7. This is the decimal point. The before the decimal point, which is the whole part, 34. 3 is on the tens place, 4 is on the ones place, ones place. And after the decimal point, 7 is on the tens place, where tens place. After this, we would say hundreds, thousands. So, we have to add THS to the uh, no, uh, name, like this hundred, thousand, we have to add THS. So, after this, any number is this, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, anything. So, we will uh, uh, count it as it hundreds or thousands. Okay. Now we have here some examples. Okay. 0 0.931. So it is a number less than 0. That is 0 0.931. So here 0 is the whole number and 931 is the fractional part. 3.4. 8.007. 8.007. And so here we can see that this is the tens place, this is the hundredths place, and this is the thousandths place. Okay. After this, 9.9974. So it is also a fractional part, and this one is the whole number. Okay. I hope you understood all these examples. Next, now we will learn how to convert a decimal to a fraction. So now we will know how to convert a decimal to a fraction. Suppose we have here a decimal 0 0.25. We have here a decimal 0 
two five. Okay, and we have to convert it into a fraction. So we will divide zero point two five by one. If we have any decimal, we have to divide it by one and write it as a fraction part because every number has a denominator one. It is a like as a invisible denominator. So here is our the fractional part. Now we have to convert it into a whole number. So to convert it and to remove the decimal point, we have to multiply it by hundred. So we will get twenty five by hundred, which is a whole number, and we have to find out the number which can divide twenty five and hundred both. Lowest uh, means uh, now we have to find the lowest number which can divide them both. That is twenty five. So twenty five ones are twenty five and twenty five fours are hundred. So we have got the answer one by four. So here we can say that zero point two five is equal to one by four. Okay. Now this is the decimal part and this is the fractional part. Okay. Now you understood how to convert a decimal to a fraction. Now we will understand how to convert a fraction to a decimal. Converting fractions to a decimal is, is representing a fraction as a decimal. Means there is no much difference between a decimal and a fraction. We have to convert a fraction to a decimal without changing its value. We we have to take a precaution that the value should not be changed because if the value will change, it will have no fear. Okay, let's take one example. So we have given a problem to convert one by two to a decimal number. So here. One by two. We have to divide the numerator by the denominator. Means we have to divide one by two. So when we will divide the one by two, we will get the answer zero point five. Okay, and so we can say that one by two is equal to zero point five. So understood how to convert the fraction to a decimal. So next. So now we will learn what we learned in the tutorial video. First of all, what is a decimal? Decimal is nothing but a fraction with a decimal point. Next, we have learned the examples of the decimal. Uh, this part is called as a whole number, and this part is called as a fractional number. We have seen some examples. After that, how to convert a decimal to a fraction, and how to convert a fraction to a decimal. So. Like, share, and subscribe our channel, Little Dear Sir, and tell in the comment box if you like this video. Now, welcome to your channel, Little Dear Sir. And in the next video, we will learn about the uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of uh, the decimals. So, we give you free education on this Little Dear Sir channel. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because keep laughing, keep learning.